Good day everyone, Ali is here from Safi Financial Network. Today is April 22nd, 2023. Here is the weekly edition. Uh, sorry for my voice. So I had like a sick, uh, I don't know what's happening to my throat. So it's kind of like a sore throat and the sickness just the past two days. So forgive me about, about the quality of the voice today. And uh, sorry, I couldn't update. Uh, daily analysis on Thursday and also this weekly analysis supposed to be yesterday but I just uh, waiting for my voice to get better all right so <clears throat> let's uh, start with S&P 500 daily chart so as you see here uh, market uh, just had a bearish harami uh, I should say it's kind of like a dark cloud very Sharami candle on the top here so we were expecting this correction or this negative big happening it was not a surprise for us and to be honest folks I'm looking for more correction so this correction could be a buying opportunity and this correction this move can stretch down to this area to 4,000 uh, 3,900 4,000 area a that uh, would be kind of like a bottoming formation for the timing perspective I'm just looking for this week next week and possibly first week of May so I'm just looking for a May bottom exactly something like this March bottom and uh, getting ready for another uh, upside move and this upside move can go all the way to the August period so I'm not looking for epic spike after that. I'm just looking for a choppy consolidation going up and very, very slow phase to getting up. For the time period, I'm just looking for here uh, July, August. And for those ones that were looking for kind of like a new all-time high or a bull market or something like that, I think after August, especially September, October period, they would be uh, probably disappointed and market can give them a slap to their face and kind of like, I don't know, um, the disappointment is coming with the news, with the rate and with the recession news. I don't know what would be the catalyst, but based on the cycle and based on the astro and based on everything that I'm just looking for, 2023 top could happen in July, August this year and after that we can see a choppy consolidation for the September October we can see a downside move is initiating the same scale like this and uh, folks don't remember we are in a, a cyclical bull market within this secular bear market so again this is kind of like a corrective move because we have been like hammered for almost 10 11 months since january let's say december 2021 all the way down to october 2022 so it's kind of like 11 month 10 month 11 months downside so we should see some kind of like a very very smooth rally a corrective rally to the upside based on the monthly chart and i'm not looking for any close a monthly chart over 4400 4300 we will get back to that one probably in monthly analysis next week and next week also we will have earnings for lots of good companies like uh, in nasdaq we will have like lots of volatility especially beginning um tuesday wednesday thursday we will have a uh, google microsoft uh, amazon and meta earnings just for technology stocks so spotify caterpillar coca-cola visa mastercard boeing it's gonna happen next week as well so lots of earnings for good qualities or good quality companies are coming kind of like a, a very very big cap companies are gonna happen next week and they're gonna release their numbers i'm not sure what would be the number amazon took off the rally just because the expectation is kind of like a positive for the earning we will see on thursday next week but all in all next week could be kind of like a volatile week i'm looking for kind of like a, again this corrective move coming down to this area so based on the momentum wise we are getting back to <clears throat> 
we are getting back to overbought condition and probably crossover next week happening for the bear reversal as rsi is kind of like a getting into this uh resistance area so look at that here's the pivotal point pivotal point and we're getting back to here and possibly we are going down another time for uh for rsi uh, sorry that was imi so this is rsi so we're getting back to this area and i'm not sure even if we get there so even this one can happen just by going down as well so we'll see kind of like a forming uh, head and shoulder in rsi so some people would like to call it as well but we will see how it goes moving on to the daily chart uh, let's go to the daily chart here's daily right there so in daily chart uh, you're just uh, seeing this we are seeing this uh, kind of like a choppy consolidation coming down on Friday session. We had a, like a doji bar, kind of like a flat SPY, which is S&P 500 ETF, just traded 73 million. So it was not that bad volume, but it was light, especially for option expiry for the month of April. The volume is super light. I should say extremely light for option X for the monthly for the month of april so this means market is going to have a corrective move as long as we are in this wide range bar it's going to be okay but i think it's going to go uh, all the way down to here for a next possible buying scenario for the next leg up all the way to uh, i should say uh, let's say latter part of the may uh, in even <clears throat> So let me just uh, moving on down. So latter part of the May all the way to the July, we should see some kind of like a rally to this area and everyone just getting happy after that. But that would be kind of like a warning sign. I should say that. So let's wait for this dip. We're going to buy back again the market. It's going to be like a low higher low and here is the low here's the october low higher low higher low so there is going to be another fourth higher low for the next rally and that rally could be ultimate rally for 2023 again 2023 could be a positive year in overall but uh, i'm not sure especially for the uh, last quarter of the year just because the last quarter is going to be kind of spooky just to be careful on that one uh, let's move to um, nasdaq here is the nasdaq let me move to weekly chart first so here is the weekly chart you see stochastic momentum we are just uh, getting close to the bear reversal rsi we are just uh, getting to the uh, latter part of this uh, channeling up and then coming down so it's kind of momentum is down and price action we are just closing uh, below sma 115 in weekly chart however price action wise we are kind of like in bullish consolidation this bullish consolidation can fail to the downside to 12,000 area and then we can see a rally again going back up so we will see how it goes but all in all nasdaq has like a better chance to have a better rally kind of like a engulfing this august high and then getting hit by 14,000 to 15,000 in this summertime and then coming back down for the next uh, uh, three to five months moving on to the daily chart so daily chart is kind of like a doji consolidation there's nothing is happening obviously we're seeing a down momentum macd already gave us gave us sell signal and rsi is coming down so this can go down below this 12,800 can initiate spike to the downside to 12,000 12,300 to 12,500 that could be kind of like a buying opportunity within this wide range bar so this wide range bar is important just because we had a, like a breakout after this and we had the back test here so this 12,000 to 12,500 could be kind of like a buying opportunity for NASDAQ. Moving on to uh, US 30, which is the best among the other one, if you ask me, for the uh, year of 2023, weekly chart. So here is the weekly chart. So this is kind of like a bullish pattern, but I think we're going to have like kind of like a going down to test this area. So 32,374 to 3,300. So this 700 range is kind of like very, very important. If you just look at, so forgive me about the lines, the tons of lines, I know it's going to be confusing, but let me just move this one here. So I'm just looking for this area as like a buying opportunity for the Dow Jones. So if this one goes down, 
especially with this wide range bar in the weekly chart that would be fantastic buying opportunity to get back if we close above this that could be kind of like a very very nice reverse hand and shoulder in a bigger time frame you see kind of like a qm pattern here if you see this is kind of like a left shoulder head and here is the right shoulder which is kind of like a very very bullish within this bullish flag and the flag is kind of like apex pattern and this apex pattern just give us another higher low here that would be great buying opportunity because next leg up can break out this channel to the upside and this one can go to 38 to 40 thousand area so we'll see how it goes but dow jones if you ask me is going to be a better chance for a for a new all-time high this year so <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised at least to see a double top in Dow Jones. Momentum wise in weekly chart, we are just getting back to overbought condition and probably bear reversal happening next week. And uh, momentum in MACD is not that strong. So that's why I'm just uh, looking for kind of corrective move to the downside. This one is giving us another sell signal and then buy back to the rally. Moving on to the daily chart. So here is the daily chart. We just confirmation that with the momentum, we are kind of like a got, a got bear reversal in momentum. We got a stochastic and also MACD is kind of like a falling momentum in MACD. So we are just uh, giving um, um, a sell signal from the market right now. So uh, here is the like a consolidation within this white range bar. But as you see here, this consolidation is not that strong enough to hold up this pivotal point. So probably the possible scenarios uh, are going to be here. So if it goes to 3200 to 3300, that's going to be a fantastic buying opportunity. Even a coming like a just pierce in this area could be a great, great buying opportunity for the Dow Jones. Setting up for the QM pattern, just to look at that. So here is the left shoulder head and here is the right shoulder. So this one goes above this shoulder, which is kind of like a QM pattern and maximum stretch could be here. If it goes here, that would be great buying opportunity. Stop loss obviously could be below this, but that could have like a fantastic rally to the upside. Moving on to some individual names, starting with yield. So yield had a positive day on Friday. So this can go kind of zigzag up to the upside 4.4%, 4 to 5%. That's going to be the end for the VIX, uh, for the yield. And uh, here is the area that I'm looking for, kind of like for selling opportunities. So we'll see if this one gets here, especially for the months of May. And after that, we can see another sharp sell off to the downside, which can initiate this. So here's the TLT. TLT had a positive day at the beginning, but a sold off. So this is kind of like engulfing pattern. Seems like this is a kind of like a a wave this is a b wave corrective wave if you get close below this uh, let me just uh, pull it out so if we get close below 1.351 then there is going to be a fantastic buying opportunity here yeah to 1.1 this area so let's wait to see another time we got back to this TLT for the next buying opportunity. So I'm just waiting for this to accumulate more shares here. And there is nothing wrong if you see market is kind of like giving us another opportunity because I believe that TLT is going to be the best outperformer in 2023 along with this one, gold. So gold is setting up for a new all-time high I believe if you just be patient because gold just the 1982 closed on the weekly chart but look at the candle and look at the price action it's pretty weak bearish consolidation kind of like a forming head and shoulder QM pattern whatever you want to call it and a pullback could be a uh, it's just a sell-off opportunity to here and that would be a fantastic buying opportunity I should say especially for first week or second week of the may so this can go higher um, so this is the way that i'm looking for kind of like it coming down this area so getting here or here i just poke here and then we can see a fantastic buying opportunity all the way for june july this year so uh, we'll see on that, but this is kind of like the scenario that I'm looking for for gold, especially this area 
or this area. So we can see this one is coming down here, just mimicking another low, low and then going up. Well, that could stretch down to here or here for 1890 to 1900. I should say that's going to be a fantastic buying opportunity for gold, precious metals, and also gold miners and silver miners as well. Moving on to that crude US, uh, uh, crude USO. So uh, this is kind of like a, uh, I should say, bearish, uh, bullish harami here. But I'm not sure if this is just a hiccup before this because this is a supply area so we had this supply area let me just uh, go with educational a little bit so here's the supply here's the supply area right so let me just uh, pull this one with uh, this body so in this this is exactly a supply area within this let me clean this yeah so this is a supply area for crude and lots of sell orders here and this rally happening stop haunted just because of this gap fantastic gap right now it's coming down to fill out this gap so all sell orders become buying uh orders here so they just uh, switch the gear i don't i don't know if this is gonna be uh, just a consolidation for the next lower leg or that could be just a test for another rally to the upside. So we will see uh, how this reacted to this area because if this one, you know, like a follow through on Monday, Tuesday session, that could be possibly uh, the demand area, the new demand area. But if it, this one consolidates here, just pop and then coming down consolidates here, that could be um, kind of like a B wave. This is ABC, so this is going to be a B wave corrective rally, C wave coming down to this demand area, which is a wide range bar consolidation demand here before this is spike to the upside. So there are a couple of levels that should uh, keep an eye. And based on the reversal, you can just position yourself. Coming uh, to VIX, VIX just uh, coming down. This one is uh, showing us there is no panic within the market. So when there is no panic, this can go down to lower, lower lows. Dixie coming down as well. So 71 cents for uh, the fr uh, Friday session. This is a consolidation. This can go down. Uh, uh, well, this can spike up to here to one four, one or two. Uh, one, uh, 103, 104, but that could be kind of like uh, a rally, corrective rally to the upside for the next leg down. Apple, moving on to the technology stocks. Apple coming down. I think this one is going down as well for the next buying opportunity. So I'm just looking for a uh, kind of like a pullback and uh, we will see how it goes again for the first uh, week of the may to the second week of the may we should see a bottom in especially technology stocks just follow up with the nasdaq and smp and coming along with this uh, daily analysis every day that i'm just uh, giving you so we can just nail the bottom as well there <clears throat> amazon just a spike up so this one just broken above this trend line which is fantastic and uh, next week thursday is going to be earning so is it going to be a, just a sugar rush before that earning announcement or this institution know something about this but uh, this is definitely interesting and we should just keep an eye everyone is knowing that i'm just calling for amazon 130 140 this year so this can have like another 30 to 40 percent upside move by next five months a meta just uh, coming down but sharply back up so institution just got back again within this white range bar it's kind of like a little candle there we'll see next week i believe wednesday it's going to be earning release so any uh, play on the short or long side could be kind of like a tricky look at that so this is happening due to the earning on february so look what happened after that no one is expecting um bullish or bearish because everyone just looking for a corrective down for the next buying offer but look boom just going up a spike up and uh, two shadows give us a corrective uh, pullback for the next rally 
Microsoft, it's kind of like the same inside this wide range bar, just holding up. Again, this can go down to here or here for the next step. Bottom information, Google, just a, a doji bar, nothing spectacular. Next week earning. Netflix disappointed earning on Thursday, I believe. And that's why this one gapped down on Wednesday, sorry. But uh, last two days, uh, kind of like a positive. But Netflix, again, this could be kind of like a corrective rally for the next leg down. Tesla, this one is in trouble, folks. So Tesla uh, had a very, very disappointed earnings. And this disappointing earnings uh, followed by like a price reduction for their cars. So when any company, any company in the business, they're going to they're gonna give a discount to the customers. It's going to be a good for customer, but it's not going to be a good for shareholders because that shows you that there is a competition in the market and they're going to just uh, reduce the margin, the profit margin substantially just because they want to compete in the market. Competition is not good for investors, especially for the car industry. When there are tons of technologies and car manufacturers there, it's not good to invest in this but again this is a fantastic uh, um, stock for traders traders like this because of the spiky action on the shorter side or either even long side so don't get me wrong this is a fantastic good play for option but not for investment moving on to the semiconductors SMH so SMH is kind of like a showing a weakness if this one closed below this this wide range bar can fade it out easily and blend down to 220 socks the same pattern here coming down below this that could be uh, the next uh, spike to uh, 370 so We'll see how it goes. A TSM 4% down. This one already started the future of this industry for the short term. And this one can go down to $70 to $80. AMD, the same coming down. NVIDIA, just uh, holding up for now. But I believe this one has like a, this uh, price action for the next uh, two, three weeks. For uh, yeah, May bottom can happen here somewhere around here so that could be kind of like a uh, very very uh, conser conservative numbers because this one can go lower as well so we will be ready to deploy money again on this one texas instrument just a doji nothing happened in lamb research after thursday search couldn't have like a follow-up and we are just uh, seeing the bearish harami here Moving on to the financials. So XLF, they had a fantastic rally so far, but this is kind of like a mixed sector. As you see here, this is not a good, and this could be a corrective rally all the way to here for the next lower leg. KBE, which is a large cap bank ETF, this one is just doing sideways consolidation, nothing spectacular. KRE, regional, even worse. Look at that. So this one can't go anywhere. There is no momentum with this name. And this name can go down easily after a bad news. Especially we have some regional bank earnings next, next week as well. JP Morgan, which is my favorite. And we got into this somewhere around here, I believe. And I bought it uh, before around here as well. So... Uh, this is the best one, I should say, among the other banks. And I'm kind of like a positive, more positive still on this. Because if bank sectors uh, going down, this one can outperform the rest. And everyone just piling money into this. Because money should be in bank. So when one fails, money is going to another one, to the bigger one. And this bigger one is going to just merge the other one and eat, up, eat them up. So JP Morgan is the best and we are just putting our money into this we are not looking for a spicy one we are looking for a conservative safe one and that's why we survived in the market goldman sachs had a nice rally to the upside but look at that so the, here is the pivotal point sharp sell off back test coming down this is a supply area before this consolidation here sharp sell off so 345 to 358 that could be a supply or sellers are going to be here as well so if you see a rally here two shadows three shadows in a row make sure that the target is finished and you should just be ready for the corrective pullback wells fargo this one just they smashed down but look buyers just recommitted back up again so 
this can go all the way up here to this supply area so look at that so this is kind of like a wide range bar break on up this this is a demand area so always i'm like i'm looking for different price action and you can just uh, see how i look at the uh, candle so this is a demand area initiate this rally and then boom boom double test couldn't survive boom selling off so lots of sell orders are here so just to look at the market very very easy not just complicated one so if you just understand the chart it can give you uh, the help to to see the potential target so 44 45 that could be uh, a similar pattern to the Goldman Sachs. So City Group, ugly, 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 going to the toilet boil, actually. This one doesn't have enough power and momentum. This is kind of like a divorce in the big bands. And I believe this one can have like the same future like uh, Silicon Valley or the rest. Moving on to the gold uh, miners, um, this one is coming down to this level for a next leg up. Buying opportunities coming for the gold miners. Hey, folks, don't sell. Don't think this rally is over. This rally is just beginning. And this uh, next two, three weeks, corrective move could be a nice buying opportunity. Gold uh, miner junior just coming down to this area. The same pattern, AEM, so 47 is down this wide range bar or even this consolidation could be buying opportunity and EM which is my favorite one and this one is coming down I'm gonna deploy more money into it when it comes down Franco Nevada hold up pretty well nothing spectacular gold paddock pretty good setup here actually if it goes down here that could be a nice buy moving on to the energy sectors energy is coming down so <clears throat> XOP doesn't follow the crude uh, price which is kind of like a warning signal for crude but this one can go down to here and then getting ready for the next setup oih the same pattern is coming down here so if this one take out this pivotal point this can go down here we will see if it if it gets there i'm not sure um uh, exxon nice bullish consolidation still hold up pretty well if it goes below this this could be ugly getting back here or here but right now this is a nice setup chevron ah uh, nothing good nothing bad i just stay away about uh, from it so oxy this one is pulled back to here probably to fill out this gap and also reek uh kind of like a disappointed uh, it's kind of like a stock in this triangle if it goes down that could be just a spike to the downside but if this one hold up pretty well going back up and get above this triangle that could be repeat to the upside ultimately i'm looking for positive gold miners energy stocks and also tlt bond so those are my favorite in 2023 okay i think i covered everything it's kind of like a longer than usual it's kind of like a weekly edition and all again uh please my accept uh please again accept my apology for my voice i still dealing with sore throat and struggling to have video today but uh, this is the quality that i can provide and forgive me about it have a wonderful weekend see you on the chart bye bye